This is Entrepreneurs Get Visible, the podcast for people who want more impact, influence, and income. I'm Anna Parker Naples, and I'll be sharing with you proven methods from leading entrepreneurs that help you get visible as an authority in your field. Because anything's possible when you get visible. I'm talking today about live events and why you should absolutely make sure you get to important and relevant industry events, both events and conferences and networking things that happen. So the reason that I think it's really important is that in-person connection matters. No matter how much of your work is online, how much of it is in this digital space, you can create much better rapport and deeper connection if you meet people in person. And having those connections, those friendships, those acquaintances means that you are much more memorable to the people in your industry and in connected industries as well. You want to make sure that you are deliberately seeking out the people that you want to connect with. And the best way to do that is to find the relevant events that they are likely to attend. So I'm going to talk a little bit in this episode about how you might do that. So really chiefly, in terms of building your own visibility, you want to become that person who is seen, who is heard, who is remembered as the go-to person within your industry for the particular niche that you have. And that really is about forging relationships. That is about telling people, this is what I do. This is about building that connection. This is about people understanding that you are on the scene of that industry. So the way that I would recommend that you go about working out which events you should be at is to compile a really detailed list of everything that's going on locally in terms of networking events that might be relevant to your business or that might have people with connected industries to you as well. So you want to also have an idea of the national events that are surrounding your industry or connected industries and also the international events because there's something powerful about turning up at an international event that you have made that extra legwork to get to. And I'm just going to share with you one of the best things that I ever did for myself in terms of up-leveling. And that was about five years ago, I discovered that there was a conference happening in the US. It was actually in New York. And that I worked out that many of the head honchos, the chief individuals, the key people of influence within my industry were going to be at this particular event and actually more crucially at the awards evening as well. And I decided actually that I wanted to be amongst those leaders within that field and that I had a better chance of the people who were the decision makers about who they worked with, they would all be likely to be in the same room at the same time. And I understood that doesn't matter how many emails you send or how many connections you try and make on LinkedIn, for example, actually, there's so much more power in that real deep, meaningful connection, which might start with a casual conversation by the bar, for example. So I flew out to this event and It cost me a lot of money to get there. I knew nobody in the room, but I knew my value and I knew where I wanted to sit within the industry. And I knew that I wanted to be seen. I knew I wanted to be heard. I knew I was passionate about my field and I knew that I was ready to do business. But I also knew that what was going to be important at that event was those casual conversations. So I arrived at that event and I knew nobody, but I got talking to some people by the bar. I got introduced to people. The fact that I travelled from the UK, people found very impressive. It showed commitment. It showed dedication. And as a result, by the end of the evening, I had met pretty much all of the key people of influence that I wanted to meet. And some of those then ended up to go on to be friendships or acquaintanceships. And I started to get a lot of referrals. And actually, I left that event at midnight. By 9.30 the next morning, I had been offered a $30,000 contract because I had put myself in that ring. If I hadn't done it, if I'd said, oh, I don't belong or I'm not good enough or told myself that sob story, there is no way that I would have then got the traction in that industry that I did. So don't rule out international events. I know they're investment, but I think they're a brilliant investment of your time, energy and money if you are determined to work that room and not be held back by fear about being out there or any imposter syndrome. So how do you start then working out what events are going on? I personally do a Google search and get my VA to do an additional one as well periodically. So I have a full rundown of local networking events. I catalogue the days and the times that they happen per month. I also then do the same for national events. So currently I'm looking at lots of events for entrepreneurship and social media, also digital events, because obviously I work in podcasting as well, not just 
standard entrepreneurship. So I have an idea of when those events are. I'm then watching their social media that the dates are in my diary provisionally in case I have a slot where I'm able to go. The other thing I do is I go into Facebook groups and I ask other people, what are your favourite events? What have you been to that you've loved? And actually, if something's been really recent, I'll then put that kind of date in my diary for a year on so that it's on my horizon. And I find this a really valuable way to be making sure that I am aware of all of the industry events that are coming up. The other thing I do is what I... In one way, I think of it as competitor stalking, but I'm actually going to refer to it as modelling excellence. So I go to essentially competitors or people who are in a similar space to me who are perhaps more established. And I will look through their social media and think, actually, where were they a year ago? Where were they two years ago? How did they make those connections? How can I get myself to that event next time it's on? And again, those events become quite crucial for my diary. So all sorts of events can be really useful for making the connections. The bigger, the more more expensive conferences, I think, can be great for learning. They can be great for connection. But also don't rule out the smaller events where there might be, you know, maybe even just 30 people there. Because, again, you're going to have that opportunity for connection and rapport. I like an event where, you know, you can go and grab yourself a cup of tea and it's informal or you can go to the bar and get your own drink. Because that, for me, is often where those casual conversations happen. And for me, it has brought in tens of thousands of pounds, getting out, making those connections, building relationships and making friends within your industry as well. Because let's face it, entrepreneurship can be quite a lonely journey. And the more people you have in your network, not only is it going to improve your business, but it's going to improve your life. Thank you for listening to Entrepreneurs Get Visible. To get your free checklist on how to raise your profile and to find out about our community, go to annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash get visible.